Because it was their longest show in more than a decade. That must have been quite the experience. It felt very special, indeed. I mean, you could feel they were giving their best. Uh, the amount of time they played, it was so warm. It was a very hot day as well. Uh, and you can see the amount of effort. And also, I can say the songs they played, Creep is very rare. They don't play that because it's a people-pleaser song. And they're this type of band that likes to, they, these, they are sort of a bit snobbish. They don't like to be people-pleasers. Yeah. And they played that song last night. And then, like I said, it's quite rare. And they did it because they, the song had a very unique connection to, to Israel. Israel was the first country where this song became number one, thanks to DJ Yoav Kutner, uh, who back then worked for Army Radio. And so maybe the reason they played it, a very very long show and let's listen to some of your reporting from the show it was likely to be the most politicized concert of the year in Israel activist Roger Waters worked extra hours to convince Radiohead to cancel the show. And so did British director Ken Loach. Mocked, harassed and threatened by BDS activists, Radiohead instead turned up the volume. Tom York, the front man of the apolitical British rock band from Oxford, made it clear on his Twitter account last week that playing for the people is not the same as endorsing the government. In front of an audience of approximately 47,000 fans, Radiohead delighted with a special set list from different albums. The only reminder of the dispute was Thom York's final statement before performing the final song. A lot of stuff was said about this, but in the end, we played some music. Quite the show, it must have been quite the experience. Do you think, real quick, do you think they wanted to play that long? They really wanted to give the fans something special? Absolutely, and not only that, Johnny Greenwood, uh, Radiohead's guitarist, played a concert right before this was the opening band uh, with the Rajasthan Express. So I mean, for him and for the entire band, Radiohead, it was very special for them to be back. You know, last concert they had in Israel was in the year 2000. So, long yeah. break. All right,